Okay, so about five weeks ago, Buddy and I went and did a cutout on this uh, swarm, this colony here. Huge cutout, there's a video in YouTube, uh, but it was floor to ceiling comb and bees, and there was just way too much comb to graft into a single 10 frame uh, box. So we took one, and look at that, there's a drone. <laughs> Anyhow, we took one frame of honey and one frame of mixed brood, all stages, eggs to different stages of larva, and put it in here with just as many bees as we could sweep into it, shut it up, and put it here. Now, five weeks later, they should, I mean, bees are amazing things, that miraculously would have created another queen. Um, it's pretty incredible that by changing the way it's cared for, they've modified the genetics of this creature and it now can lay uh, fertile eggs that will produce workers. So if that's the case, and they've created another queen, you need to get them out of this swarm trap and into a small five frame box that they can grow into. And this, this will allow them to be fed, um, can put a feeder in front, and it's just a better overall thing. These swarm traps, I, I built them so they're a little bit taller, so it gives the presence of more space, which is kind of a catch-22. Bees love them, but they also love to build comb along the bottom of the frames, and that creates a big problem when it comes time to move those frames into a standard box. So I'm going to get this set up, get it so we can see inside, and we'll see just how many bees are actually in here and if there's a queen. All right, so I'm going to give them a little smoke here. Start. a lot Seeing that drone could be good, but could also spell bad because if the colony has no queen, then the ovaries of the workers are not suppressed. And so when they lay eggs, which workers can lay eggs, but they're unfertilized eggs because they're not a queen. So when they do that, so when they do that, they're producing a drone and only a drone. So when we first moved them in, they got a little hot, but that's to be expected. They've simmered down a lot. And considering that we completely went in and destroyed their home, that'd be a little hot too. Alright, so let's see what we have. Well, it's hard to tell so far. They have drawn some comb. I think my smoker failed on me. I don't think I put enough fuel in it. I'm seeing another drone there. A lot of workers though. Probably three 
frames of bees, which is considerably more. That's a see. There's a drone. You can hear them. That's a, that's a worker. She's not happy with me. Well, let's start moving stuff around. See if we can really make them upset. Grafted comb is kind of a pain to work with because it's not what we would normally consider to be neat and easy to manage. So this is the smallest frame. There are, um, well, there are lots of uh, the Oriental or Asian roaches in here, so that doesn't speak well to the colony strength. This was one of the grafted frames. And it is completely barren of everything. I haven't even worked it. Looking for eggs and or a queen. Or even a queen cell would be good to see. See, they haven't done much construction here either. Kind of hard to see without any sunlight. Nothing there. Here's the biggest part of the bees. There's the biggest population. Now this is this seems to be way more bees than we put in here, so. No brood of any sort yet. No caps, no eggs, just some honey. In order for this to work the way we want it to, where we, we put all this stuff in here, all these bees hoping they would create a queen, we have to have eggs at the perfect stage to do it, so... There is capped brood right there. They did it. So all of that is capped brood. Look at that. Now if we can see a queen, lots of larvae there. They did it. Amazing creatures. There's a lot of brood. They're about to explode in population. Still no queen. Most of this is new comb too. Here's a drone, a dwarf drone, probably one laid by a worker. I haven't seen a queen cell yet, or a queen, but the larva is a good sign. So when they don't smell a queen's pheromones, they go into kind of panic mode and create a queen. They do that by taking an egg that a, a previous queen has laid. There she is. Look at that. They made a queen. 
right there. You can see her. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. Such cool creatures. All right, they get a new home. They'll be a tough one to, to survive because their numbers are so small, but we know somebody who wants a queen to colony to baby, so we'll let her baby. Hopefully it'll, it'll make. Okay, so we're gonna Makes me so nervous. Yep, there she is again. All right, get her in and safe. Get all our babies in and safe. And get the rest in. Amazing creatures. They made a queen from nothing. I mean, they're just an egg. Just amazing. Just amazing. They smell different, uh, the different box. They're buzzing around. I'm a little upset. I think this one is going to go away. And I'll just put a blank frame in. didn't get too testy either. It's good. This will give them more, more, uh, a better ventilated colony. This being in the, in the shade helps a lot. But. More ventilated, a better entrance, and then it means to feed them. These are my hive attics I built to help keep the colonies cool and dry. Such amazing creatures. An emergency queen was created. I think I'll put that ratchet strap back on. Awesome. I'll let the rest of those go in and I'll, I'm going to actually stick a feeder on it for now. Look at them all wanting in. Where's mama? Where's mama? Come on, girl. Back up. Add some sugar water to that. right here so that will go in. 
the smell of the queen and the new colony and all shift over to there. By nighttime, every one of them will be in their new home. This will be a tough one to get through winter for sure, but, but Kansas has had a pretty amazing spring. Colonies everywhere are doing great. Well, all the colonies I know are doing great. Strong, lots of honey. But, uh, it's, been a, it's a good year for them. Cool deal. See ya.